load, 70 ton of stone. Right here to start, and one more load on the truck. That should get us around. The pool. of the fourth load which we'll be using for patios all the stones in around we got to box all this sod out the 10 foot strip of concrete going in there to here and then uh, off the back here so this is all got to get stone as you see the pool come out sweet one day guys digging setting walls and pouring the bottom one day today's the second day back filling and uh, like I said, this is gonna get stoned now and then we're just gonna taper off what's here and try to make it flow with what we got. All right, gonna cut it out. Tilt the bucket to the left. Like so. And we know to the right where the stone is is already cut out because it was dug out. Bucket to grade. 
pitching out to the left. Doing good on stone. 93 and a half tons later. Got the loopy loop around the side. It's starting to rain, getting slick. in my makeshift dot mount it's raining out I'm gonna climb the hill the slippery slope and get up on top and do a little bit of grading with what we have here over here this is all compacted fill from the machines running on it and it's such a steep slope it's just easier to move with the excavator where I need it I'll need some in the back and we'll move the dirt where we need it from the back or from the, this side to the back because if we need to add more fill with the dump truck this is the way to do it we don't want to have to come back over here again just a little bit. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just so he can back his forms. The topsoil will go on top of that at a later date. I'm really good to see everybody participating in that excavate excavator egg 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 excavator challenge that was fun a lot of you what a good way to get youtubers to connect huh so there that should be
be enough on that side. Drill a little more for over here. Just want to sprinkle this into that and bury that ever so nicely. Nice one little hump here, and we use that to back up here. Back to forms that little sod in this one. Break up that sod a little bit better. It's all gonna be grass anyway, so it really don't make. But let's give it a little, a little tilling. situation how much fill we need for the front if any I'm not sure they might want more back here they're gonna have to make that call not me I just used what we had we'll put this over here
All right, tracked and packed slippery slope. Got a little over here. I think, uh, I don't know. Gonna need a couple loads of dirt right here because the pump is going there. But other than that, this is manageable. Little knob here, I'll knock out. I don't know if they want a flat spot up here yet. Back on site. Not a good time, stuck in the greasiness. We had that hurricane blow through a couple days ago. Let it rest. I got four loads of fill to bring for over here by the pool. <sighs> Just greasy, greasy tops while I was stuck here all alone. Called a couple people, no answers, no help. You find out who your friends are. Pushing my machine or my pushing it out with the skid steer. Let me get this packed out. I'm gonna put some more stone in these ruts. Well, we got out, took a little bit of stone and shoveling and kept filling in my ruts. So what you do, it wasn't sinking bad, you know, it's hard underneath. It's just that layer of greasiness and all the water from the street and everything lays right here. Oh, it was spongy, greasy. Got it out, gonna do a little restoration with the machine on them ruts there so they could dry up. <laughs> 